Dr. Rob about some health concerns. Uh, what are you talking about, Sally? Dr. Rob wants a sandwich too, ladies. Okay. Well, have you been working out for your New Year's resolution, but you're still feeling tired and run down and not losing any weight? Darn it. Well, it may be your thyroid. Dr. Rob is in the house with some tips. Thyroid is a huge issue, isn't it? It's a huge issue for sure. And what we're talking about is the gland that's located in your neck, and it's a butterfly-shaped gland that is responsible for making a very powerful hormone called thyroid, which activates every single cell in our body and increases our metabolism. And millions of Americans have problems with their thyroid, and they don't even know it. This is a, probably a dumb question. Can you feel where your thyroid is? That's a great question, Sally. And actually, you can. And it's right here next to your trachea on each side. You can oh, feel. Oh, on either side. All right. You want to do one at a time. You don't want to compress your carotids. But you can feel right here your thyroid gland. And if it's bulging out, that's a problem. Okay. It's something that's called a goiter. Right? Huh? That's what we wouldn't want to have. And that would be a sign that you actually have thyroid disease. Symptoms. What are symptoms? I'll tell you what, on a day like today, in the beginning of February, when it's 60 degrees outside, if you're complaining that you're cold, that would be a sign oh, of hypothyroidism yeah. or low thyroid. So feeling cold, fatigued, depression, constipation, irritability, gaining weight, so you're working out for your New Year's res resolution and you're not losing weight, could be a sign of hypothyroidism. For women, irregular menstrual periods, pale, puffy face, no color to your skin swelling in the thyroid gland itself, also called a goiter. So those are all signs and uh, symptoms of having hypothyroidism. And what people need to know is, is that when they feel those symptoms, they need to visit their doctor and they need to get tests done to see what's going on. And a great place to start is to get some thyroid labs. Now, what happens is a lot of people only get one lab. A lot of doctors will only order a TSH. And that isn't sufficient to know what's going on with the gland. At a minimum, you really need to have some other tests, a free T3, a free T4, the TSH, and a reverse T3 to get an idea what's going on with the gland. Then what's another great idea is to have a micronutrient test run as well because the thyroid, in order to make the energy that it needs to make, is dependent on 10 different vitamins and minerals. When you find out you have a problem, and then you get it corrected, do you feel totally like a new person then, I assume? Because and a that, lot of these issues go away? That depends on the individual, but for many people, once they correct their micronutrient deficiencies and improve their liver function, their thyroid problems can go away. And if that doesn't occur, then it may be time to be using something stronger, like thyroid replacement therapy, actually giving thyroid hormone if it's indicated. So best thing to do, start with going to your doctor. Start with going to the doctor. Get the appropriate labs. Ask for more than a TSH. Say, I want my free T4, my free T3, my reverse T3, and my TSH. Start with those labs first so you can get a good idea what the gland is doing. Can the thyroid be being out of whack, can that cause, I know you, you said several different issues, but can you really become sick with a, with a thyroid oh, or not? absolutely. You can. When your thyroid hormone isn't functioning appropriately, it affects every single cell in your body, and there's no way that you can feel good. Tired, run down, thin, dry, brittle hair, pale color of the face, gaining weight around the middle, not wanting to get up in the morning, being cold on a warm, sunny day like today, mm -hmm all signs of that low thyroid function and there's no way that you can possibly feel well when that's going on. More men or more women with the problem? More women than men. Okay. It is an autoimmune disease and it tends to affect more women than men, but men can be affected just as well. Dr. Rob, how do we find out uh, more information from you? Well, you can find me at RenewHealth.com and we'll be happy to get all the appropriate tests to help you diagnose what could potentially be life-saving treatment to fix that thyroid gland. Dr. Rob, thank